Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edim TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through business studies, form 2, lesson number 5, and the topic is forms of business units. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mutoni. Welcome. Now, let us look at the lesson objectives today. Today we are still in partnership, but today we are going to look at the management of partnership, its sources of capital, and advantages and disadvantages of partnership. So, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain the management of partnership, should be able also to highlight the sources of capital, and also state the advantages and disadvantages of partnership. We start by looking at the management. Um, when it comes to the management of partnership, all members are involved in management. So all partners are managers of the business. They are assigned duties and responsibilities according to their area of specialization. So in this case now, you are going to get the management in partnership. It is for all the members. If at all the year 20, the 20 of them, each, each person is given his duty, his responsibilities. They have them. The partners can also employ skilled personnel to manage the business. Another situation, they might, you might get that all the partners are not in the business. They have employed pro, professionals, that is the skilled personnel, to manage the business on their behalf. Partners who can take active part in the management are major, real, and general. So those three partners, the major ones, the real ones, and the general ones, they are the ones only who can be active members in the management of the business. The other partners, like the minor ones, they don't take part, have the right top assets, the partnership books, and can offer advice to the active partners. Uh, when we talk about the partnership management cycle, this is the way how it looks like. One, make the business case. Number two, identify the partners. Number three, negotiate the relationship. Number four, implement the partnership. Then number five, monitor progress and evaluate accomplishment. Number six, terminate or renegotiate the partnership. So that is the management cycle. They can do that. Now, when does the partnership get their capital from? When they can get capital from the contribution by the partners. After the partners have contributed the capital, that one can be their source of money. Number two, it can be loans from banks and other financial institutions. That is after they, they sign the, the debt. They can use it to apply now the loan. Number three, receiving trade credits. This is a point where they get goods on credit. They come with them, deal with them in the business, then they repair the credit as they get some more credits. Now, the next one, it is the probably back profit or repatriating back profit to the business. Number five, leasing and renting of property. They can lease that property and also they can rent the property. Number six, acquiring goods on higher purchase. They can acquire goods on higher purchase. Advantages. It can raise 
more capital than sole proprietorship. So it has more advanced capital than the sole proprietorship. Number two, distribution of work can that reduces the person's workload. Number three, sharing of liabilities and losses. Number four, better decision making through consultations and sharing of ideas. Number five, few legal requirements compared to limited liability companies. Disadvantages. An individual mistake may result to loss to other members. Number two, liability of some, some of the members are unlimited, while others are limited. Number three, continued disagreement may lead to the it dissolution. Number four, decision making is wrong, since all members must be involved. Number five, action taken by one partner in good faith on behalf of the business is abiding to all. Now, as we summarize the lesson, there is an activity. Before we get to that, there is some more disadvantages. The death or the retirement of the most active partner may adversely affect the business as limited access to the source of capital compared to a limited companies, he may lim they may have limited access to a variety of managerial skills, especially where partners manage their business, and a hard-working partner may not be rewarded in proportion to his or her effort. This is the activity. Discuss the factors that may influence the growth of business units. Reference, get the KRB 2011 Inventor Secondary Business Student Book 2, that edition. If at all you want to contact us, you can get us through the SMS. You can also get us from the YouTube, from the Facebook, and also you can Twitter us. Stay tuned to Edin TV. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can do it.